Today we are flying on one of Europe's most interesting and unique airlines, at times controversial and criticized for being the last carrier to maintain flights to Russia, but at times also considered as one of the best airlines on the continent. I've loved flying Air Serbia in the past and it was time again to put the airline to another test. From wonderful crew to dry food and dodgy taxi drivers, let me take you across Europe on one of my favorite airlines. Guys, a beautiful good morning from freezing cold Copenhagen. It is 6 a.m., minus 5 degrees, but that can't stop us. We are flying Air Serbia today. An airline I actually quite enjoyed uh, in 2019 flying to New York. So let's see how they perform today. Let's check in. Let's get in the terminal because it's freezing cold out here. Now, Serbia is currently operating four weekly flights between Copenhagen and Belgrade, and today's journey takes me back once again to Terminal 2. Hey, good morning. All right, thank you. Do you use any lounge here? Is there any lounge access? A Copenhagen apartment, it's called. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. All checked in. Good morning. Um, Copenhagen apartment lounge? Or it's together with the Carlsberg. Carlsberg Aviator. So towards B area and oh. one floor. All right, thank you. Hey, good morning. The apartment, Copenhagen? Copenhagen. Yes. As a business class traveler on Air Serbia, you right. get lounge thank access. You. In Copenhagen, it is the apartment lounge, which features a high-quality buffet with really good food and beverage choices, including some fantastic coffee. Definitely one of the better lounge experience in the recent past. So all checked in. I'm at the lounge right now, which is called Copenhagen Apartment, and it does look like an apartment. And um. I flew Air Serbia in 2019 on their only intercontinental flight from uh, Belgrade to New York. And it was a fantastic flight for what it is. And what I like about Air Serbia is instead of only like focusing on intra-European traffic and then feed the big airlines through code sharing agreement, they now just acquired their second Airbus A330, where they're going to start flights from Belgrade, Chicago. Yesterday, they started Tianjin in China. So it's a bit of a different concept, a much more braver, and it involves a lot more risk, taking a wide body fleet for such a small nation. But apparently, it seems to be working. And I remember Czech Airlines back in the days before the pandemic, they kind of had the same concept where they had that one white body flying between Prague and Seoul uh, mostly. But yeah, um, I've liked them as such. And I'm very curious to see what their inter-European business class uh, looks like uh, on today's flight. And I just checked. I'm the only one in business class. Yes. <laughs> So this concludes my visit to the lounge. Let's check out the gate. It was then time to head to the gate. And since Serbia isn't part of Schengen, neither the European Union, I had to clear immigration beforehand. Serbia is though in the progress of joining the European Union and is expected to be a member by 2025. So guys, and here we are, just got to the gate. And unfortunately, Copenhagen is rather spotter unfriendly because you have those weird panels in front of the windows. So you can't get a proper look of the of their Airbus A319, which is the backbone of their fleet uh, intra-European. Um, they have 10 of them and they have a really vast network uh, of flights in uh, Europe. This plane was originally uh, delivered to Mandala Air in Indonesia 15 years ago. That airline no longer exists. And for quite some time, uh, this bird has been in service for uh, Serbia. Um, flight time is roughly two hours, and then we have six hours on the ground in Belgrade, where I'm going to show you their flagship lounge and take you around Belgrade Airport a little bit. But yeah, very much looking forward to see what Air Serbia has to offer. Also, another interesting fact about Air Serbia is it's one of the 
few remaining airlines in Europe that still operate flights to Russia, scheduled flights. And while it's probably a very profitable business at the moment because prices to fly from Europe to uh, Russia are quite high because usually you have to do it through the Middle East of Emirates, for example. But also this flight is quite a subject to harassment. So people call the airline, leave bomb threats and all that kind of stuff. Uh, occasionally, once the plane enters uh, European airspace coming from Russia, it is being trailed by NATO jets um, as well. But yeah, very interesting to see that there is still a few airlines that uh, keep their operation to Russia going. Whether it's right or wrong, it's up to you to decide. But uh, an, another interesting fact about Air Serbia. Thank you. Thank you. And this is my ride today, the Airbus A319, which generally comes with eight seats in business class, which is adjustable and 136 in economy. Hi, how are you? Hi, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, small carry-on items must be placed under the seat in front of you while large cabin luggage. Good morning once morning. again. Just yeah. wanted to welcome you. Thank you. My name is Barana. I'm with my co-worker Sergio. Uh, we'll be serving you on today's flight. Right, Here's the menu for the breakfast. All right, beautiful. And I'll be back in a few minutes to take your breakfast. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen. I got a beautiful welcome by the crew which handed out a menu and then we pushed back on time for our two hour journey to Belgrade. So guys, uh, beautiful views taking off here in uh, uh, Copenhagen. Always fascinating how you have this gloomy weather on the ground and then you break through the clouds and it's sunshine everywhere. That's what we love about flying, isn't it? This is it. This is the uh, cabin, the business class cabin of Air Serbia. The first row is dedicated to business class passengers. In case there would have been another passenger, they keep the middle seat blocked. Uh, very standard for an inter-European product. Uh, crew very lovely uh, here on this flight got a nice welcome menu looked pretty good as well so that's probably next on the uh, review agenda here uh, the food review so far so good and uh, yeah given that the crew probably had to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning uh, operate one flight to Copenhagen and it's only 9 a.m. in the morning uh, they're being super professional super kind and I think that's what stands out so far so and there you go beautiful little breakfast sitting right in front of me um an omelet or spinach got a bowl of fruit coffee orange juice uh once again was addressed by my name when he uh served the meal and said if there's anything else i can help you with just let me know so service wise i am uh rather impressed how um uh, a dedicated to crew is and uh, now let's see how this breakfast is gonna perform but it looks pretty good so what do i make of the breakfast um omelet rather dry spinach wasn't the greatest either um but it's about the little things the little details uh, for example when you serve a bread roll and uh, some toast you want to give out some butter with it as well otherwise it gets very dry and i think that sums up uh, the, the meal service or the breakfast service on air serbia rather a dry affair um but uh coffee was lovely so are the fruits um but yeah my honest feedback when it comes to catering if you happen to be traveling in economy class you can purchase food off the menu such as sandwiches or soft drinks in terms of in-flight entertainment, you can either look out the window or study the in-flight magazine, which goes by the name of Elevate. It did feature some interesting stories, but it was then time for the Lou review. 
and of course a quick little review here on the Air Serbia 319. No special amenities really, very standard uh, lavatory but what is most important it, it's nice and clean. Um, one more hour to go until we touch down in Belgrade where I'm going to show you their nice lounge and uh, yeah, so far so good. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. So welcome to Belgrade. Right there is the Airbus 8030 uh, bound for JFK. I took that flight 2019, but ever since they changed the plane. So they had an old jet airways, Airbus 8030, and now this is, I think, an ex Aeroflot uh, 330. And they'll be soon starting flights to Chicago as well. So I hope sometime next year um, I can uh, give you a review on uh, Air Serbia's long haul, new long haul product. And uh, summarizing my flight, uh, it's fantastic crew, is really, really lovely, very professional, very engaged um, for an inter European flight. That was amazing. And now we're going to check out their lounge, which is pretty nice from what I remember, but that was like almost what four years ago. So let's see what the lounge looks like in 2022. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. So that was my quick visit to the Air Serbia Premium Lounge. Really nice, um, lovely staff, great buffet, quality food. But a little small when it gets busy, but boarding is not until five. So I just Googled the most visited site in Belgrade. So it's a cathedral. Um, so why not head there, take a selfie and then come back here. So we have something to do. <laughs> I have a question. How do I get to arrivals or uh, immigration? Just tell me which way I go, I find out. This way? All right. yes. Airport is a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. I'm trying to find arrivals or immigration, but it doesn't say anything. People aren't very helpful here. <laughs> and when I ask, they just shake their heads. Either they don't speak English or they just can't be bothered. All right, there's a transfer desk. They should be able to help me. Hi there. Um, how do I get to arrivals? How do I get to arrival? Uh, I came from Copenhagen. From Copenhagen. But, go to the city now? Yeah, yeah, for like five hours. Okay, we must open the doors for you. Alright. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Go, just go out. Alright, cool. Awesome. Hey. How much is a taxi to the city? Well, it depends on the driver, but uh, take voucher after you, uh, after the baggage claim area. Yeah. On the right side, you will see uh, 
you can take a voucher for taxi. Ah, okay, okay. So let's say 20 to 30 euros. That's okay. No worries. Do they take card or only cash? Uh, yes, they can take cash. Okay, just go downstairs. All right. Immigration? And then uh, I head in the city. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. So one magic door, which you need to swipe open. So a staff needed to go with me. Uh, so you get to immigration. And then he said from there, I can just take a taxi to the city and it shouldn't take longer than half an hour. Let's do this. Damn it, there's a massive queue at immigration. That might take some time. So I'm out. It's freezing cold though, but let's find a taxi. <laughs> Everything is just very confusing here. No idea where to go to get a taxi. It makes no sense. Hey there, do you take cart or only cash? Where? You want to go in? Uh, just the city center. City center? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have car, I pay by car? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. If you can drop me uh, this this church, okay. Saint Saint Sava or whatever. Saint yeah, yeah. Just drop me there. That's fine. How far is it from here? Like how many minutes? Fifty minutes. Oh, that's okay. Easy. Yeah, perfect. You make it 3,000. Yeah. No worries. All good? Yes, for you. All, All right. Thank you. You too. Have a good day. So and here we are, this is the Saint Sava Orthodox Church. According to Google, the most visited attraction here in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. Uh, looks pretty cool, so let's see if we can go inside. And it literally just took 20 minutes from the airport to here. And uh, it was 2,500 Serbian dinar, which is like $22-ish. So pretty affordable as well. I'm okay. Thank you. All good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fun fact. I have been to Belgrade once in 2009 and I remember growing up around like the uh, late 90s when the war in like former Yugoslavia was like in full swing. I was like really dominating the uh, global headlines. Um, yeah, those are my like early memories. And World Cup, Germany always plays Yugoslavia or Serbia now. In, uh, at Euro Cups and World Cups. Always very f fierce battles between, between both teams. They didn't like each other that much. Uh, yeah. Here I am. So, still had like so much time to kill. Let's see what else we can check out before I'm gonna head back to the airport. So the last time I came to Belgrade was in 2009. And that was a very interesting trip because I was hitchhiking from Germany to Iran because there's something I've never had in my life. It was money. <laughs> I was always broke. So I hitchhiked and I was couch surfing as well. So staying with locals while I was uh, traveling here. It's a great time. Look at this. I really like this banner. And I'm really trying to figure out what it says because it's quite interesting. I think Behind the banner is the old national TV station, which was bombed during the during the war. From what I remember in 2009, I remember walking past here and somebody tried to educate me. But I really want to find out what that slogan means. Okay. 
Excuse me, do you speak English? Uh, a little bit. Yes. A little bit. What does it mean? In, uh, in, uh, who believe uh, he can, uh, who, uh, who don't know for fear, uh, they go ahead, something like All that. All right, so like so some national some propaganda. National, yeah, propaganda. Yeah. All right. yeah. Well, what's this building? That used to uh, be... This is an old uh, military uh, object. In 99, uh, when it was bombing... It was bombed, right? Bombed. By by the NATO, right? Yeah, yeah right, NATO, ah, okay. yes. And it is, I don't know how to say this, but it's the main building of our military. Ah, it's not right, military, the yeah. ministry of defense, but it's uh, something like uh, military building. Ah, right, no one is bombed, right, in 1990. Uh, yes, right? yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, here was some, like a bridge. Ah, right. Who, that, uh, which... Uh, they bombed it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. No, interesting. And they leave it like this as a memory? Uh, yes, I think here uh -huh. is it a bomb, but not active. Uh -huh. I don't know that, that they uh, move it. Uh, okay. But uh, it's we have a story that the bomb is now here, but uh, okay. it's not activated. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry for English. No, no. Perfect. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. So yeah, he said it's some national, uh, yeah, propaganda kind of ish slogan, and that used to be the HQ, military HQ, and it was bombed by NATO in 1999. Yeah, interesting. And I think now it serves as a memorial or something like that. But anyways, let's go and find a taxi and let's head back uh, to the airport because it's very cold and we are boarding in yeah, an hour-ish. So let's go back. Also, like a big banner saying stop NATO. Oh, some strong feelings here. What does it say? Serbia without Kosovo would be like human without heart, it says. Sounds like let's go to the train station. It's probably a good place to catch a taxi. There's none here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hurry. Hi there. Um, to the airport? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you take card? Okay. Oh. Huh? Good camera. Good. <laughs> yeah, cheers. How much? How much the airport? How much camera? Camera? Camera. Since uh, caro. Ah, GoPro. 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 Since yeah. caro, lepo na kameru sa to sve snimiš i nosiš kuć. <laughs> I don't understand. Ajde, no, what? How much? How much? Ajde, Ajde, how much? I never put it. Three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah, that's fine. Ajde, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Do you have? Uh, I pay a card, right? Okay, bankomat. Bankomat. No, no. The card, yeah. Da. You have machine, machine, yeah? Ah, yeah, no machine. Ah, no machine, no machine. Where is the... Uh, there is a machine over there. Uh, there? Okay. I professional. I used to turn it. GoPro, GoPro. GoPro, oh. GoPro, yeah. Not, not bad. How huh? much? Mm, $500, I think. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Australia, you Australia. Ah, Kangoo. <laughs> Brisbane. Uh, uh, Melbourne, 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 Melbourne. Oh, brother. <laughs> Three thousand, he said. You, it doesn't work. You take euro. I just like twenty five euro, okay? Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh, it's okay. not working, it's okay. Yeah. Airport, ah. Belgrade, ah. airport. Ah. Yeah. Belgrade, good Belgrade. Huh? Yeah, 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 nice, nice, nice. Cold, nice, but nice. <laughs> you know what? Hmm? I get off here. I go to the museum, eh? there's airplane. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. All right, thank you, eh? Bye bye. Ciao, bye. 
Well, just next to the airport, there's a aviation museum of like all those old beauties, but I was just trying to go there, but the guy told me off, I can't go. Apparently it's closed, but uh, maybe let's sneak in somehow, somewhere. <coughs> Look at that, there's all this junk, like uh, Soviet era, uh, fighter jets and then there is this old jet caravel so before Air Serbia became Air Serbia it was called a jet Yugoslovensky Air Transport and look this beautiful caravel stunning such a shame that museum is closed for whatever reason but looking at all those old birds I'm not surprised that they are shut because they don't really seem to look after that stuff. But isn't she beautiful? Stunning. When I was young, I was really into military aviation, but I have no idea what plane that is. If you know what type it is, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm absolutely obsessed with the caravel. Look at this. So pretty. But I'm really wondering whether any of my viewers, I know I have a very young audience, but I also have a very, like, I have a, like, all the viewers who sometimes drop some really cool stories from back in the days in the comment section. But my question is, is any of you guys who's watching right now ever traveled on a caravel? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know what it was like. Was it fun? Was it loud? Was it cramped? Was it? What was it? Let me know. I really want to know. I love these kind of stories. So please share them with me in the comment section below. Wait, she's so beautiful. Anyways, we are literally boarding in uh, 10 minutes. So let's head back to the airport. Don't want to miss my flight. So genius me lost his boarding pass, <laughs> so I have to check in again. I, I lost my boarding pass okay. uh, to Rome. I came from Copenhagen, went to the city and now I lost the... Uh... <laughs> I see you, you all checked your bag. Yeah, my bag is yes, checked, yes. everything. Just, yeah. uh, Just print your boarding, boarding pass. pass, yeah, that's all I need. <laughs> You're a superstar, thank you. Yeah, Bye. Bye. All right, so this is all sorted. Got a new boarding pass. Yeah. Now let's head to the gate. We heard so many beautiful things about you. <laughs> and uh, it was my pleasure <laughs> no, to thank you have so you much. here in uh, our Serbia Premium Lounge. Thanks for I looking after that, me. Yeah, that was very thank nice. You. I enjoyed it. It will be a lovely lunch. Thank and uh, keep it up, hey? And I hope you'll be flying one day, huh? That's cool. Yeah. Thank you happen. very much, okay. and I think that I uh, hope that we will see again, maybe here or maybe in the plane. Hopefully, yeah, somewhere. Thank you very much, <laughs> bye sir. Bye-bye. Huh? Enjoy bye. your flight. Bye. Hey, how are you? Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hey, very good. How are you? Also, I'm <laughs> Thank you. No, that's totally fine. That's that's no, no, that's all good. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, my name is Maria. I'm one of the crew on today's flight together with my colleague Alexandra. All right. So if you need anything, please do not hesitate to let us know. If you need some recommendations for the food, beverages, we're here for you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, so here are the menus. Beautiful. Thank you. But, uh, you can take a look, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your flight. Ladies and gentlemen, even if you are a frequent traveler, please watch and listen carefully as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. So 
So guys, and here we are, welcome on board uh, another Airbus A319. Uh, and uh, this time it has two rows of business cars, so which is fully booked as well. Uh, once again, very proactive, very lovely crew. And uh, yeah, been airborne for 10 minutes and already have a meal sitting in front of me. I went for the Caesar salad because I've been eating all day. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like, but uh, yeah. So far, so good. This is like a rather short hop, a little bit over an hour, but yeah, really like Air Serbia. They're doing really well. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. So guys, and here we are, probably at the most dated Hilton that I have ever seen in 36 years of traveling. Here I am, um, but only staying for one night because tomorrow I'll be flying Italy's new flag carrier, Ita Airways to Delhi in business class, uh, ending this trip. But summarizing my flight on Air Serbia, fantastic crew, love the crew, one of the best in Europe for sure. Their weakness is definitely the catering. Uh, it was very, very average, like especially that Caesar salad, which had like four leaves of like tiny baby leaves of salad. <laughs> uh, but other than that, a uh, hard product is what you get on most European airlines. And as I said, like the crew and the lounge experience was really nice. Um, as well, I'll definitely fly them again. And I hope next year that I can fly them on the Airbus A330. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but this is it guys um, for today's video. I hope you liked it with my little adventure, like venturing into the city and coming back. If you like that, let me know in the comment section below and I might do that more often in the future. If not, then I will just stay at the airport. <laughs> Anyways, check out my Patreon if you want to join my WhatsApp group, have your Cahill keyring or uh, access to some extra packs. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what you think of uh, Serbia. That's it, guys. Wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.